lovelies i hope you're okay and welcome back here to busy bee and budgets where we're on a journey for um intentionality let's say with our money and just being a bit more organized and a bit more switched on um so this is week three for me of january and um, january is a five week month so i watched another budget show the other week um the other day and they had made january a four week month and i think that's a genius idea and i may well do it next year just because january is hard enough isn't it without kind of stretching it a little bit further so i might be able to pay with my budgets a little bit and do that um so yeah like that's something to think about for next year um so i am going to do my cash out from week two stuff for week three a bit of savings standards so if you fancy having a little chat with me about everything that's been going on uh, then please stick around um, and thank you so much to everyone who watched my video last week. I hit 500 subs, which is massive. Um, so thank you to everyone who's likes and subscribes and comments on my videos. Um, I know we all say it, but it doesn't make such a difference. And um, I love watching other people's videos. It's kind of why I started doing this. And so, yeah, knowing that you guys will watch is just lovely. So thank you for that. Right, um, let's do... So I have started to track my spending from my envelopes. So what I don't do is um, track everything that's coming in at my bank account because that's all kind of accounted for and I didn't want to kind of get into that level. But I have started to um, write down when I'm spending money. So uh, from last week, I spent £20 on having my car washed and balloted. I'm doing quite a lot of long journeys over the next few weeks. I just wanted it all like clean and lovely. And I've probably only had it washed, I'm going to say two times since the pandemic. So it's not kind of a, a very often expense. Um, I then was lucky enough to go to a gorgeous wedding at the weekend um, and that cost me £310 for my accommodation, drinks, food, travel, all the rest of it. Um, and so that came out of, I've charged 250 to my experiences pot and then £60 to spending. So that's kind of how I've accounted for that. Um, and then we are back into um, Sainsbury's. I spent £57 um, on just boring groceries um i had lunch at leon which came to 15.55 and then i've also um done some postage this week and then thursday is a no spend day um, and we're back at friday so i'm starting to sense a bit of a pattern um which is like maybe with food and um, whether or not it's sainsbury's or whether or not it's eating out what i have managed to do this week though because i noticed it last week and the week before was i am not doing as many little pop pops to Sainsbury's so I've got into a habit of kind of popping to Sainsbury's most days and partly that's because I work from home I don't often get out and unless I make myself go for a walk I don't and so I was walking to Sainsbury's it was about a 10 or 15 minute walk for me um just to pop and get little bits just mainly to get myself out of the house but obviously they always add up don't they and they always you've always end up buying more than you need and blah 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 so I'm trying to be better about menu planning um and also um not doing those little shops which i have done this week so i'm pleased with that that is good i've also set myself some sort of habits for january um and i have set a, a couple of goals which are for the whole month and then a couple of goals which i'm doing week by week and um, just to keep it a bit interesting um i feel like january can be hard anyway and in this country we kind of go from that famine feast to famine don't we like christmas is all like throwing money at things and lovely food and lots of and then january hits and we're kind of like we're broke we're tired we're cold we're wet we're overweight we're just all those things so i'm just trying to be a bit more um do something to kind of brighten it that's constructive so um for this month i wanted to um open a chase bank account which I, i've done um so now i've put all my um sinking funds in there uh, so and that's been really helpful to track what's coming in out um, and this month I've had quite a spendy month, particularly in experiences and booking stuff for the rest of the year, making some of those plans. Um, so that's going to keep happening, isn't it? That's annoying. Um, so I've done that. That's working really well. I've been tracking my cash back like you saw. So I'm now kind of writing that down on a daily basis. Um, and I set myself the goal of January to buy nothing new. So I can buy things secondhand or from charity shops or vintage, but I'm not buying anything new. And that's been really good for getting me out of the Amazon habit. And I don't know if any of you have this problem that as soon as i think of something oh that's i need a thing i just go on amazon i pop it in my trolley and it kind of turns up a day later or even sometimes the same day because i live super close to some of the amazon distribution places and it's just too easy and so this weekend i was um decluttering my wardrobe and i thought oh i could do with some of those cubes to put some like jumpers in and before i thought about it i was on amazon like putting them in my basket and then i thought I've probably got something in my house that could do justice to the job and actually turned out I did I had some sort of 
crepe baskety things which weren't being used but it had I not had that thought and had not had the buy nothing new ban then I probably would have just ordered those from Amazon and not even given it a second thought so for those of you who've been watching my channel for a while you know a lot for me is about intentionality and being more mindful so this whole buy nothing new has been really good to just be like no okay think about what you need is there something else in your house you can use to repurpose it nine times out of ten there is so and um, last week I did a 50 week food shop and you'll see when I come to stuff I'm going to do that again because my husband's away so I've set myself a new rule that when my husband is working away that we um that I only allocate myself 50 pound for a food shop so that's happening um, selling on eBay, I'm going to tick that as done because I've got loads of things listed. They're selling really well, actually. I was a bit worried that um, January would be a bit rubbish and that people wouldn't be buying things, but people are. And yeah, so it's good to A, clear out and declutter um, and also to make a bit of extra money. So I've set myself the goal of in 2023, oh, this is, gets complicated now, I only got my numbers right, I'm going to try and raise £2,023 from selling things. So um, I'm going to clear out lots and try and sell as much as I can. So over the course of this whole year, I'd like to raise uh, 2,223. I've got a separate bank account, so I'm just popping everything that I make in there. And I'm going to leave it, I, th I think, for the end of the year. And then hopefully have £2,000 and £23 kind of saved up. So that is what I'm focusing on this week. So the electronics clear out, I've got a number of bits and pieces, old tablets, um, old earphones, all those types of things. So I'm gonna sell those um, and have that clear out and start that fund. And I'm also gonna pop whatever I get from eBay into that as well. So that was that. So I'm sucking 230 today. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 10, 20, 30. And what I need to do is go through my envelopes and clear out what I've got. Um, so I've got nothing left in food I've got I think 60 left in fuel but that will definitely go because I've got another long journey this weekend 20, 40, 60 um, and I may well need extra fuel because I've actually got another long journey later in the month um, so I'm going to pop that in for now and see where we get to I will take some money out of my spending envelope um, if I need extra petrol this month um, Spence has got 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100 left um, so that's had 250 so far this month but I knew this month was going to be a spendy month with the wedding and the trip away I've got this week um, so I, I, that's where that is um, miscellaneous I think I've still got 10 yep giving has still got 20 and then fitness has got 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 so what I'm going to do for savings challenges is pull out my stuff in fitness this week. Fitness was going to get another 10. So if I pull out 40 and put back in 20, then I've got some money for my savings challenges. Um, so we will do that um, because I've got nothing else in rollover this week. Um, so let's stuff this first and then we can do um, the uh, savings challenges. Uh, so uh, I've allocated the stuff 100 into food, but like I said, I'm only going to... Oh no, actually, my husband's not away this week. A lie. It's going to be the week after. Ignore me. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Um, and what I do is use a Jam Donut app, um, and I will buy a gift voucher for Sainsbury's where we do our food shop, um, and that will be... Um, I will use that gift voucher to then buy um, our food shop with, but I get cash back on that, and that's already kind of clocking up quite nicely so yeah really impressed with that um fuel is getting nothing spends is getting a, the extra hundred um because i as i say i'm away again this weekend um so i've got 20 40 60 80 100 and i'm going to add another hundred so 20 40 60 80 100 so that'll be 200 in there that'll be more than enough for the rest of the month and hopefully there might be some money left over to do some savings challenges with um miscellaneous is going to get 10 um and i buy most of my stuff at the supermarket this is just if there was anything else like household wise that i need um that i will buy out of there giving will get 10 so what i do is allocate a portion of money each month for giving um, and this is for everything from you know, collections at work through to 
um, people doing you know kind of marathons and want sponsorship. And also, if I have any money left over at the end of the month, what I do is donate it to my local food bank online. Um, so although when I'm at the supermarket, I do sometimes put stuff in the, um, the food bank um, bin, I actually know that money's really useful to them as well. So I will um, continue to save towards that. And then fitness is gonna get the remaining 10. Um, so that is all my cash stuff. That goes quickly, doesn't it? Um, so. And so what this is, is my fun sinking fund. So I have a grown up sinking fund binder, which is everything to do with like emergency funds and other bits and pieces. And this is my fun treaty type um, envelope. So what I'm gonna do is Christmas is fully stuffed for this month, as is treats. Um, I've got my clothes envelope. Um, and for those of you who've been watching, I do a, um, I've been doing a clothing ban, um, clothing, yeah, yeah, clothing ban. <coughs> Sorry, for the last year. And so I've not bought any new clothes um, since the end of January last year. Um, and obviously I've signed up to buy nothing new month, so I'm not gonna buy anything in January this year. I'm gonna get to the full end of the month. And then in February, I might allow myself um, some extra bits and pieces, um, but for now, so I've got 32 in there. I think I'm gonna add in another 10. So that'll take me to 42. Um, Appliances, I've got, so this is, I've got 20, 40, 50, 60, 70. Um, so when I move, which hopefully should be fairly soon, I know that I will need to buy a few bits and pieces. But this is not for like big, well, in time this will be a sinking fund for big things. Um, but obviously at the moment I'm saving more for like the kettles and things like that. When I move I will need to buy a washing machine, tumble dryer and new fridge freezer at the new house. Um, but I'm kind of going to do that out of a house sale and then this will be like a sinking fund for other stuff. Um, so I'm going to put um, 10 into that. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And then I'm going to, I haven't got a nice pen, so I'm just going to do that for now. And then car is for car insurance. This is currently got 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85. I think what I'm going to do is change those two tens for 20 and then put 10 in. So I've now got 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 95. And then, so I've just put 10 into there, haven't I? So I'm going to cross off one of those things. And then, I'm not going to put anything in growth. That's my envelope for things like courses or um, language lessons or anything I want to do to sort of grow me as a person, I guess. I'm uh, toying with perhaps going back to do my PhD this year. Um, so that obviously that won't get anywhere near what that is. But um, that's kind of what that envelope is for. But just for those things that I kind of want to do. And then I think I'm going to put the remaining 10 in garden. Um, at the new house, I would like to um, start growing vegetables. And um, so this is some money to help me start with that. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 70. 70 in the garden. Um, and then a phone is going to get nothing. I'm still, I've only had this current phone for like three or four months. I want to start saving for a new handset in two or three years when I need it, but um, that isn't a priority at the moment. Um, but I think what's been amazing um, for me, I haven't, I didn't do savings challenges last year um, and I didn't do fun sinking funds so much. Um, and part of that has been a, able to happen because I use my money left over from my other sinking funds and some money I've got as a bonus to fully fu fully fund my grown up sinking funds for this year. So what I did in a separate video, um, which I can link below, is around um, setting up all the, the grown up things. So things like vets, health, emergency fund, all of that kind of good stuff, I have already fully funded. So um, if the poo poo hits the fan, that's kind of all taken care of. And then this is just my fun stuff. But I, I respond really well to gamification as it turns out. So um, by making it more of having the challenges and having things to work towards, um, I'm now starting to save stuff out of my weekly um, binder, which I never did before. Um, I always used to pretty much spend everything. So I think probably a combination of those habits I've put in around buying nothing new and trying to be 
trying to declutter and trying to kind of do all that stuff has just changed my mindset a little bit and I also think that obviously January's lighter although I've had like a couple of big really big social things and um, you're not doing some of the stuff like particularly you are pre-Christmas like Christmas fairs and all that type of stuff so it's quite a hibernating month January isn't it so I've not had any of those kind of incidental expenses in the week and um, so next week is going to be week four I'm going to be stuff 130 pounds but what I'm going to do is hold back 50 pounds of my food budget so this coming week my husband is here then he's away for two weeks so I will cut my um, food budget so I will have money um, in those categories to stuff towards my um, fun sinking funds um, which is lovely and I will need to from next month or maybe even next week start stuffing my experiences um, sinking fund so that's one I put a thousand pounds into at the beginning of the year but I booked a holiday with my girlfriends in June I've had this weekend away I've got the next weekend away I've booked some like sponsored walks and stuff um, and so that is rapidly being depleted so I will need to start stuffing that quite a lot if I'm gonna pay quite enough for everything that I want to so there you go that is my week three of January thank you so much for watching um, I hope you're having a good week and I hope that you're managing to stay warm it's gone really cold again here in the UK um, and obviously um, I said in a previous video how much my heating bill was in December which was disgusting um, it was like 600 pounds so I'm being really conscious um, and also when my husband's away the heating will be going off um, he's someone who likes to be really warm but um, well, I'm happy to be a bit colder and save the money so there we go okay well um, thank you so much for watching I hope you have a lovely um, week and we will see you soon all right take care bye